Charles firefighter is in a battle neither he or his family ever saw coming. He's had to retire after being injured on the job. Now he's fighting PTSD. As News 4's Emily Pritchard tells us, his family's future and stability is now at stake. Emily? That's right, Courtney. These are the flames that Tim Kirchhoff barely escaped from five years ago. He was burned and injured. Now he is dealing daily with PTSD. Today was one of those rough days. He wasn't able to talk with me, but his wife shares their struggles as his pension is about to run out and they fear they could even lose their family's home after he fought to save others. These flames forever changed the Kirchhoff family. There he is. He's like burning, laying in the snow after jumping out the window. That's firefighter Tim Kirchhoff. His goggles. Um, melted to the to the helmet. I mean, everything. It was terrible. He just miraculously found a window to bust out of after escaping these flames in January 2014. That night he wasn't calling back. His wife Laura got the call she always feared. They ended up putting him on the phone and he was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be OK. And what was it like to hear his voice in those oh moments? God. <laughs> That's like all you want to do. You just as soon as you hear his voice, then it's like, OK. Tim's life has never been the same since. Every day. Um, he wasn't like that. And seeing him go through this, he's, he's a changed person. He's had eight surgeries and relies on his service dog, Ozzy, after suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. You're rooting for this person. You want this person to be doing well because you're used to that. And then all of a sudden, it's completely different. Tim was forced to leave the job he loved. The family is now facing another dilemma as his firefighter pension is almost out. It's a struggle for the whole family. It's not just that one person, it's the whole family. They will only have Laura's job to rely on as they await a decision on disability assistance. That's also putting a lot of stress on him. Tim still spends his time giving back, playing bagpipes at fallen first responder ceremonies across the country. Now the community is trying to help him by starting a fundraising page to ease the burden. It's awesome that people care. What's the difference it would make in your family's life raising some money for you guys? Oh my gosh, it would just make a big relief. Take some weight off his shoulders, which he needs. Emily Pritchard, News 4. If you would like to help the family, we have the information you need on our website and on the KMOV News app. Just look for Emily's story.